Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, we're going to make a belly band with a view. But first, let's have our shout out to Jan, Elizabeth, Carla, Megs, Giovanna, Diane, Walanda, Heidi, and Roxana. I appreciate each and every one of you. I also want to say a special thank you to Denise for my beautiful happy mail. Oh, it did make me smile and lift my spirits. So let's get right to our project. You're going to need some scraps, some book page scraps. I've got some music page, different types of book pages, and then you're going to need your windowed envelopes. Yes, another window envelope project. Now you want to trim it down so it's going to resemble a belly band, maybe something like this. This one's been trimmed down to it's all it's about two and a half inches across now as long as you one will depend on the length of the pages in your journal I'm actually going to shorten this one up by quite a bit I think I want to make it six and a half so I'm just going to trim this just like this hopefully it's not too crooked now I have some that I have already made and I've stitched those this one we're not going to stitch so you can see how it turns out so you can use all kinds of things. You can use paper, you know, just pick out a pretty picture on a piece of paper. You can use stickers. You can need magazine images or a book image. And this is what I have here is book images. Look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm not really sure which one I want to use. So let's just have a look at how they look in here. So I could actually get the name of the flower in here. That's pretty. That one's very pretty too. Okay, let's go ahead and let's just trim this out. Just cut this so we can get designing. And I'm going to lay this in here the way I want it. So I think I want it to be maybe something like this because I do like the name even though it's kind of over to the side I think that's really pretty and I'm just going to glue put some glue on this top part because we've cut it to where one page one side of our envelope our junk mail is still attached so I'm just going to add my glue and then I'm going to bring it on down and place it where we want it here. I think that will be just fine. Now this is what's going to show through my window of my belly band. And I'm going to trim my pieces off. Alrighty, just like that. Next, I'm going to start collaging, and I'm just going to do large pieces just to speed the process up. So I'm just going to do one, show you how I'm going to do it, and then I will continue. And I'll come back when I have finished all my collaging. Now you only have to collage on one side because it's a belly band. So that's how I do it. It's just very quick. It's a quick type of collage, and I'm going to show you the finished. All right, I finished collaging. There we are. Now, you can ink as you put them on, but I'm just going to brush my ink dauber right over, just like this, just to highlight a little bit. All right, just simply like that. Now, now it really has a little depth to it. I have a few things here that I thought that might like to try on our little collage windowed belly band. So let's see here. What do we have? I have some bows. I have some butterflies. I have a label. I'm not sure what we want here. I'm just kind of trying some things out. I also have some umbrellas. 
I actually think this is pretty dark on cute. Oh, I do like that. I like that a lot. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of lace. I think it needs a little lace, maybe just a little piece, not all the way down the side, but just maybe just a little bit right there. So I'm just going to add my hot glue right on here. And I'm going to just put my lace right on just like that. Oh, I do like that. Now, the little Sharpie trick that I've been using really helps with fussy cuts like this. Do you see how the white, well, you probably can't since that's not a white background. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you this. I'm looking for something on my desk. Do you see how the <clears throat> white, I didn't get super, super close. Well, if you take your marker and you just run it over that area, it just changes it so much. And you don't see that white. Yes, I know that you could use your ink and fix that, but it doesn't quite fix it in the same way. I'm just going to rub my marker right on here. Now, this is the harder part right here on the umbrella handle, but I'm just going to, because it's a glass mat, I'm able to just lay it down and run my marker over the paper there. Oh my goodness, that really helped in my in my point of view. I thought it really helped. I'll cover up my little black mark there. Now, I really think that this would be super cute on here. I'm not sure. I'm almost thinking I like it this way instead of this way. I could put it up and down. I wouldn't have to have it turned at all. I could use pink or maybe I could use purple, or maybe I could use a pink polka dot. Oh, that's pretty cute. I think I like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Tombow glue, and I'm going to attach my umbrella. Now, I'm not really doing it on the acetate too much. There we go. And I think I said I like this. I forgot already. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys, I forgot already. Okay, so I'm going to get that on there. I think I want a label, but do I want... I'm thinking I need something else up at the top. Maybe that's where I could put the butterfly. No, that's just too much going on there. Let's get more labels. We need something else. All right, I grabbed quite a few things. I have my hole punch. I thought that maybe if we punch a hole here and maybe right here and then we put a hmm a brad I hope it's called a brad I always forget what they're called <laughs> let's put that in there right like this and um, let's see here it goes like this oh goodness gracious okay Oh, that's a tough one. Alrighty, we got that on there. That's pretty cute. How about another one? Okay. Oh yeah, that's cute. Now, let's have a little bit of light pink satin ribbon. I thought I would just put it in one hole and out the other. And I thought maybe we could tie a little bow right here. I'm thinking that would be super cute. So I'm going to get this all turned around so that it's not... There we go. All turned around. That's pretty doggone cute right there. And I think I'm just going to trim it like this. 
Okay, I like that. Now I have this label. Do I want it here or do I want it up here? It kind of seems like it's out of place up here, but how about if we take another little piece of lace and if we place it like this, I don't think it would be out of place. Let's go ahead and ink this up just a little bit like that. And I'm just going to quickly add a little glue here. I'm thinking I want to still show all that beautiful music paper. So I'm going to put it between the music and the lines of music and add that on there. Oh my goodness, what do you think of that, guys? I think that would be an adorable belly band. Maybe we need to add a little bling right here onto the, the little bow. Oh yeah, that does kind of just set it off, makes your eyes go down there a little further. I have a little Christmas one that I made. I thought that was cute. And then I have some tall ones. So isn't that pretty? It's got the pin and a little jewel on it and the label. And this is a little print from my Porch Prints printout. And this one's just a piece of paper. I was actually gifted this piece of paper. And then this one here is, I think this is a Roxy Creation. Uh, just a picture off of one of her printables. I did the same thing, making the little brads go, no, they're not brads, grommets. That's what they are, grommets, in there the, in blue. I did another bow, but then I put a little safety pin uh, through the little area where I tied the bow. Oh my goodness. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.